Hi there. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new integration in Morgan Desktop with Linear. We start off in the main screen and we go to this context menu in the top right of the task pane. Click connect an integration and add an account. Now scroll down here to Linear and click sign in with Linear. You'll be brought to Linear. Here you can choose which workspace to integrate. You may also be asked to sign in before you can continue. <clears throat> Here I'm going to choose this uh, testing workspace that I've set up. And when I click Authorize, it'll take me to Morgan configuration page where I can choose how to integrate this workspace with my Morgan app. So I'm going to remove this team that I had earlier. Um, and you can see that you are required to have a team before continuing so that we can sync the right issues. Click Add a Team, and I'm going to choose Morgan here. Then you can select which issues to import. And here you can choose between three options. You can choose all open issues, all open issues that are assigned to yourself or only those that are started or not yet started. By this, we mean all tasks that are in the to-do state or the in-progress state. So we won't include canceled or completed tasks and we won't include tasks on the backlog. Next, what you can do is configure how to import the issues. So here, the only option is to enable or disable the downloading of issue descriptions. So to protect the privacy of your customers, you might want to decide to not download these descriptions to your Morgan app. So once you've configured that, you can click Save and will be redirected to the Morgan app. So here you can see that Linear is now listed under My Integrations. And if you go back to the app, you'll see an extra tab has been added for Linear. And you can see that my tasks are already appearing and they're already configured in a way that I configured previously. In order to configure how things look and in the sidebar here, you can click this menu again and change the settings in the, these different sections. So we have grouping, ordering and filtering and display labels. So I'm gonna go through each one of these. My preference is to group by state and that's what you can see right now. So tasks are kind of grouped by the state that the ticket is in, in linear. I can change this by deciding to group by cycle, for example, so I can see all of the tasks that are in cycle six and all of the tasks that don't have a cycle at the moment. Um, I can also choose how to order each issue. So I might want to show higher priority tasks first. And we try to replicate the same ordering that you would see in linear when, when ordering. So if I order by priority, you'll see that tasks that don't have a priority appear at the top and you can also choose the direction. And moving on from there, you can also choose to display certain things within each task. So here I can choose to show the state and you'll see that the in progress or to do state icon will appear next to each identifier. I can choose to hide the identifier or the priority. It's really up to you. You can configure it as you wish. Finally here, there are some display options that are always available for different Morgan task lists. They're relevant if you start scheduling things, which I can move on to now. So in order to schedule something, you simply have to drag it from the sidebar over to your calendar, just like with any other task list in Morgan. Before I do that, I can show you this details view, which shows you all of the information we have on that particular issue, including the description. So if you enable the setting to download description, this will appear here. If I want to schedule this task, I can just drag it over. <clears throat> and once I'm finished with my task, I can come back to Morgan and take it off my schedule like that. Another thing you might want to do is make multiple uh, slots because you worked on a task multiple times during the day. Uh, and you can do that by clicking on the task, hitting control C and then right click and paste the event somewhere else. If you want to change the status, you'll have to click on the event itself and click open in linear and then just change the state as you would normally to in progress or done or canceled or, or whatever. So coming back to Morgan, now that we've seen our task in, in Linear, we can see that the task is still in the to-do state, which means it hasn't synced down the newest state. And if this ever happens, you can click on this refresh icon to get the latest data. You'll notice that task disappears because it's completed and it's not included in the list of tasks that are imported. That is the Linear integration in a nutshell. Thanks very much for watching.